time for a super crazy raid testing setup going on so thing that I got going on so here I have seven Seagate Barracuda three terabyte desktop drives um, and I have one Samsung 512 gig 830 series SSD so what I'm going to be doing with these is I have a new raid card here from Adaptech this is their 6805 TQ, so it includes a super capacitor or whatever it is they call it. Basically, it's it's kind of like a battery backup in that it will allow anything that is cached to be written, but it is not an actual battery, so it's a slightly different technology. One thing to be careful of with these things is you don't want to plug them in or unplug them when they are charged. They ship discharged, so you can plug them in before you install it, but just be aware of that. You can mess stuff up. So there's the RAID card there. This supports Adaptex MaxCache 2.0. So the difference between MaxCache and MaxCache 2.0 is that MaxCache 2.0 supports random SSDs. It also supports much larger SSDs than consumer technologies like Intel SRT. So I want to take this massive RAID array. I'm going to do the whole thing in RAID 0 striped. So that means there will be no fault tolerance. But we will be getting pretty much as much performance as you can get from a single single RAID card with a reasonable number of drives. I mean, even this number of drives is kind of unreasonable. So this 512 gig cache will be caching 21 terabytes of mechanical storage. I want to test this. We're going to have an upcoming NCIX Tech Tips on this. I want to test this against some sort of more modern configurations to see what we can potentially do with the future of storage compared to a single SSD today, a single hard drive today, or a hybrid solution like a Momentus XT today. So here I'm configuring my max cache SSD caching. So I've added one SSD to the pool. You can obviously add as many SSDs as you want to the... Well, no, I think it's actually got a limit. Um, whatever, it's done now. So here you can see my finished configuration. I've got my RAID 0 set up with my yeah, RAID 0 cached with 19 plus terabytes. So that's 21 terabytes, depending on how you measure it. Come on, focus, please. RAID 0, okay, and then I've got my SSD set up as a cache, so I am ready to run some performance ben performance benchmarks. So I'm going to be using PCMark and doing several runs because I'm going to be comparing it against some other configurations to see how it, ben how it, uh, how it performs at first and then how it performs in subsequent runs with the caching enabled as the controller learns. So uh, stay tuned for the NCIX Tech Tips on that, and thanks for checking out this configuration process for MaxCache 2.0. So the eight drives hooked up to the Adaptec controller are these eight. These eight right here are in RAID 6 on the Arica controller and I might as well benchmark that while we're at it just for comparison. And then these two are just a RAID 1 for the uh, OS backup for Windows Home Server. So uh, don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. Oh, actually here's one more thing guys. Sorry. As I'm getting into my benchmarking here, I notice something cool. So that is that it actually gives you a readout of the uh, the overall usage of your RAID array, which is very cool. So I can actually monitor how much the SSD cache is affecting how things go. In fact, there's the DRAM statistics, IO, and max cache statistics right there. Very cool stuff.